Hello students, welcome back to the Sarka Foundation classes. So last video we have seen the electronic polarization and its derivation. So now let us see the ionic polarization, the second one. So the name itself it is telling this polarization occurs in the ions where already the positive and negative charges existed. So let us take the example of NaCl, the Na plus and Cl minus. When these are placed in an electric field, this Na will move some distance and this Cl will move some distance. Let x1 is the distance moved by the positive charge and x2 be the distance moved by the negative charge. Ionic polarization alpha i. Let us calculate. Ionic polarization is also independent of temperature. When an electric field is applied to an ionic molecule, so Na plus and Cl minus, so the positive charge is moving at a distance x1 and negative charge is moving a distance x2. Here the x1 and x2 are the not actual distances between Na plus and Cl minus. Just x1 is the distance moved by the positive charge and x2 is the distance moved by the negative charge and due to the Coulomb attractive force between this plus and minus again they'll come close because of applied electric field they'll move apart so this is acting like a spring so here we'll take the spring force or the restoring force so we know that the restoring force is proportion to the distance so f1 is proportion to x1 and the proportionality constant is k1 where k1 is the m1 omega naught square. Similarly for negative ion as x2 is the distance moved by this negative ion so f2 is proportion to x2 and f2 is equal to k2 x2 and this k2 is equal to m2 omega naught square where m1 and m2 are the masses of the ions that is m1 is the mass of the positive ion and m2 is the mass of the negative ion. So from this f1 is equal equal to m1 omega naught square x1 and f2 is equal to m2 omega naught square x2. This f1 and f2 are the forces that are acting on them. So one, this m1 omega naught square x1, like these forces are the restoring forces. Again, Lorentz force is acting on these particles. That Lorentz force is F is equal to E q. Here E is the applied electric field and this q is equal to E. So our Lorentz force is F is equal to E into E. So this force is equal to this m1 omega naught square x1. Hence, E into E is equal to M1 omega naught square X1 and E into E is equal to M2 omega naught square X2. This is for from these two X1 is equal to EE by M1 omega naught square and X2 is equal to EE by M2 omega naught square. Substituting these in our dipole moment formula. Our dipole moment formula is charge into distance. That charge here it is only one unit charge. So E into distance is X1 plus X2. So let us substitute substitute this x1 and x2 into our dipole moment. So on substituting the ionic dipole moment mu i is equal to E into x1 is Ee by m1 omega naught square and x2 is Ee by m2 omega naught square. So bringing out common this Ee by omega naught square. So E E square by omega naught square into 1 by m1 plus 1 by m2. Comparing this with our formula dipole moment is equal to alpha E and this this alpha here it is ionic polarization. So alpha i e. Therefore we will be getting alpha i is equal to e square by omega naught square into 1 by m1 plus 1 by m2. So this ionic polarization depends on the masses of the positive and negative charges and also the angular frequency but not on temperature. So ionic polarization alpha i is equal to e square by omega naught square into 1 by m1 plus 1 by m2. M2. 